It's about the future of Europe. It's about, if I, if I may, if I dare, your future. I make a proposal about the role of Greece and Greek personalities for the future of Europe. You should really come, if you can, even at the, at the fifth act, if you can come for the last 20 minutes, really it will be great. Okay. <laughs> it is something. I think you to make. The, I don't want to say more because we have too so many you journalists. You had to, to, to inform me about that before. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so like, uh, <laughs> to to change my, my schedule. But generally, I think it's uh, very important to th start discussing about the common future. And the most important, start discussing about a more attractive Europe to the citizens, to its citizens, because I think that's. One of the problems that we are ahead is uh, the lack of credibility and uh, you know the lack of uh, aspiration of the people from Europe. And it's a pity because I think that uh, it's a progressive uh, initiative. The, Euro the foundation of the European Union is not a conservative idea; it's a very progressive idea. Even though uh, the last years, I think that uh, these uh, politicians and political forces that uh, handle this, uh, this uh, idea was not so progressive at all. But the substance of this idea is 100% progressive. I believe so, yes. This is the main... Um Uh, thesis also of this uh, piece of work of my play. Uh, but what I say also is that uh, a big part of it is devoted to Greece, seriously. And uh, I was very impressed by the, the bravery, the cold blood, and the wisdom of Greece in this uh, crisis of the last four years and now in the crisis of Europe. And. Uh, And I speak of you, saying that uh, for the future historian of Europe, historians, there will be the two paradigms, the Theresa May paradigm with Brexit, and the Tsipras paradigm with what happened here in Greece. I really oppose the two, how Theresa May lost control of everything, and how you, Prime Minister, had the courage, the parisia, The courage of truth. Paris is a Greek. Uh, Greek, I know. I know. Greek. Well, they're very familiar to French philosophers. There is a whole work of Michel Foucault, Michel Foucault, about the Parisian. And um, and I think that uh, you uh, you play, you will be exactly in in the future history. You will be exactly the opposite of Theresa May and opposite of Di Maio, also. Mm because uh, you, you prevailed in this alliance with Cop uh, Co uh, Comenos and so on and so on. So it, it's a lot question of, uh, of Greek, of Greece, Greek mythology. I'm a Philelen, I'm a friend of Greece. We know that very well. Yeah. And uh, I really learned to, to think and to reflect with Greek texts. And, uh, and when I hear Greek language, yeah. I don't understand a word, but it's familiar to my ears. Yeah. It's honey to my ears. <laughs>